Hi everyone, welcome to my channel No Chefs Here. I'm finally back home in my own kitchen and in today's episode I want to make Korean chicken curry. You can use meat of your choice or make it completely vegetarian, up to you. That is the product I am talking about and it comes with a different spice level and of course that is me so I choose this one. This video is not sponsored but I definitely think it is a great idea to have a product like this in your kitchen because it is a sure way to create fast and delicious flavorful meal. You don't have to worry about any kind of special ingredients sourcing. All that's left for you to decide is the meat and vegetables that go in it. Well I'm super hungry, can't wait to try it, let's get started. So here are all the ingredients I will be using today. They are all listed down in the description box below if you want to follow this particular method. But let me explain to you my philosophy. Main ingredient for me in this curry will be chicken. So I want to choose the chicken quantity first. And this happens to be 225 grams or just two boneless skinless thighs. So I want to first see what that looks like. And then based on that, I choose the quantity of the rest. So these potatoes, there are 144 grams and I will keep the uh, skin on. There's a lot of nutrition um, and vitamins in the skin. Plus it's really thin, so no problem. I have half an onion. Um, this one is 112 grams. Two green onions. Got three cloves of garlic here. And white mushrooms. That's 100 gram. And of course, as shown before, here's the otogi curry. Um, the main thing to know about this one is that this 100 gram packet is designed for three cups of water. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna start with the chicken. We just want to do bite-sized pieces. Um, things like that you can delete. But I'm not going to be super particular and delete every single piece of fat. It's flavorful too. Choose the size of pieces and let's just stick with that. So there you go. Just gonna go ahead and wash everything and be right back. So next uh, I'll get vegetables taken care of. Start with the garlic. And these hard pieces, just remove them. And I'll just give it a rough chop. There you go. And uh, next is onion. And I wanted to say that I am kind of working also in the order in which I will be cooking too, so keep that in mind. And this one, I'm just gonna chop right like this. And into large chunks. And I'll just break them up you have nice chunks of onion similar to chunks of chicken size. Potatoes are next and uh, these are my favorite style of potatoes. As I mentioned I'm just gonna keep the skin on but that is not so good. So quickly inspect to see if you need to remove any kind of growth that may start because these been sitting around for a while. That is the size I will go with. So with the mushrooms, check out and see if there's any kind of dirt and if there is. Um, don't wash them, just take paper towel and clean. And then I'll just cut them in half. Some big ones maybe in quarter. 
green onions. Let's remove this outer layer. going to take most of this green onion for garnish and at this time I want to keep these actually just half like that so here's all of the vegetables chopped up I will start working from here with the garlic and onion and way over here but you'll see so it's time to cook I've got about a tablespoon of vegetable oil in this pot start off with the onion and the garlic so my heat is at about medium high bring you in a little bit there you go I'm looking to soften up the onions a little bit. It smells fantastic. Okay, chicken going in. And once this chicken is no longer pink, I'm not looking to cook it right now. Going in with potatoes. just want potatoes to kind of get started and incorporate a little bit into this flavor this pot is so thin it is really not ideal to cook like this but it is more presentable for my video so if you have a non-stick pan that is big enough that's the best these burnt pieces don't worry when the water gets in we'll lift it up now I have hot water going in. So this was three cups. I'm just gonna go in and lift those slightly burnt pieces at the bottom of the pan. Just like this. It comes off really easy, not to worry. So once it's boiling like this, I'm gonna come in and remove some of this foam. All that unnecessary fat that uh, came on top like that just in the water rinse it off all right I'm going to reduce heat to simmer partly cover it like this so that I have some uh, reduction going on as well and we do this until potatoes are tender which is I'm going to Target about 15 minutes to begin with, and we'll check it out. About 17 minutes in. So we'll go ahead and check for doneness. See if the chicken is done. And it is. How about the potatoes? Very soft, tender. Okay. At this point, I am adding mushrooms and the onion, because I want them to stay on a fresher side. Give this a mix really good. That hot liquid just wilted the onion really nicely, but it remains green and vibrant. Mushrooms, you know from the salad bars, right? You can eat those raw, but this way they will just have a nice warm through. So notice that there's no more actual boiling going on. The heat is low. This is where we add the curry powder. So start slowly. Oh my gosh, it smells fantastic. You can tell there's a lot of turmeric in here. Also, there's cornstarch in there too, so it will thicken up the curry for you. Look how thick it gets already. That looks nice. Look how thick this is. Wow. One bad thing about stoves that are electric, 
when the heat is off, it stays hot for a while. So okay, turn off the heat and give this a try. See, it's nice and thick, wow. It's fantastic. So I recommend to add slowly because I have about quarter of a packet left. This is also due to some reduction in water while uh, it was boiling. We're ready to plate. Well, I cannot wait to give this a try. Take some of this rice, mix in with the curry. That looks good. It smells amazing. Mm. It's absolutely perfect in my opinion. So I definitely recommend you to add a little curry at a time to your desired consistency. If you want to make it more soupy, add more water. But this consistency and mm, the concentration of flavor to me is amazing. Well, this is it uh, for this particular recipe and episode. Let me know in the comments below if you like Korean curry and if there's a particular way you like to make yours. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as always. Until next time, I wish you nothing but the best.